Unfortunately, for many cancer indications, CT scans and other conventional imaging modalities are no substitute for a good MRI scan. For most tumors, you really need that high resolution uh, soft tissue discrimination and anatomical detail to do appropriate diagnosis and treatment planning. Are CT scans just 80% of an MRI? No, they're completely different imaging modalities. It's like talking about a heart catheterization and an echo. They're just completely different things. So MRI gives you much more sensitive and specific information about every structure in the body except perhaps the lungs where CT scanning remains the cornerstone of appropriate imaging. So you can't just say, oh, my patients will be fine because they're going to get a CT scan. That's a cop out. MRI is often preferred to CT, particularly for uses in the neural realm and also in joints and the spine. The use of CT in those areas is really for those who cannot receive an MRI. And in the past, those have been those with a legacy device. Having an MRI compatible device allows patients to be treated with the most appropriate imaging test that they need for their condition in the brain, in the spine, and in the joints.